If you're about to take a trip on the interstate, don't spend too much time in the left lane, otherwise you will get pulled over. A new law in Arkansas aims to cut down on people staying in the left lane. There are some exceptions, though. 5 News reporter Bailey Devane spoke with Arkansas State Police, who advocated for this law and tells us more about why they support it. The previous law stated that vehicles could not stay in the left lane of a multi-lane highway whenever it impedes the flow of traffic. But now cars are banned from driving in the left lane altogether, unless it's to overtake and pass another vehicle. The law also allows for left lane travel if all other lanes are closed to traffic or if the right lane has unsafe road conditions. Well, some people say that you know, there are stretches of highway in Arkansas where the right lane is simply too rough. Well, fortunately, the new law allows for people to drive in the left lane if the other lanes uh, are in disrepair. Here's an example. This semi truck shown in this dash cam video would need to move over into the right hand lane after passing the vehicle in front of them. Even though it's moving faster than other traffic from here on out, Arkansas State Police can pull that truck over for using the left hand lane incorrectly. Interstate 49, Interstate 40. Uh, several around Little Rock and other, other metropolitan areas in the, in the state which have multi-lane highways are primarily the, the ones that are biggest impacted. Sometimes state troopers say they clock cars going 20 miles under the speed limit in the left-hand lane on major highways, so they hope this will make the road safer with no one able to camp out in that lane. Traffic would be in the left lane just under the speed limit and clogging up traffic and causing congestion and things like road rage and crashes and things like that. So this law is just to help alleviate some of those problems. Covering news where you live, Bailey Devane, 5 News. State troopers do say, though, they're going to take the next couple of weeks to try to educate the public about the new law, and they'll be not giving any tickets until ample time has passed. State police do not encourage speeding, obviously.